Hi guys, I'm back with another pregnancy update. Today I'll be giving you my 23 week pregnancy update, just updating you since the last time that I gave you information, I guess. Let me get my glasses first. So things have been pretty smooth. You guys, obviously, if you watched my previous video, we are having a baby boy. Crazy, so crazy. I did not expect to see blue sparkles and uh, glitter and powder pop out of that balloon, but holy crap, um, we're having another boy. <laughs> we do have a name picked out already. It is going to be kept a secret for a while now. I don't know if I'll reveal it, hopefully. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I have my reasons for not revealing it. And it has nothing to do with online or the YouTube community. It just has to do with uh, personal reasons and our family. I will maybe keep you guys updated on that. So obviously I am now back home. I'm no longer in California. Obviously there's a different like background. I'm honestly recording this video at like six o'clock at night on a Wednesday. So I will try to make this quick because I am running out of daylight. I had my 20 week ultrasound back in California and my OB told me that I was measuring only three days ahead as opposed to where that place that I went to, Blossom Baby, they said that I was measuring 10 days ahead, which could have been true at the time. However, my OB said we're going to stick with uh, December 27th as the due date and not December 17th. However, I am hoping that this baby comes two weeks early, just like Roman did, because that would be fire. So the flight was smooth. There were no complications with me, none with the children. It was great. So I guess I'll start with some recent symptoms that I've been having. Obviously, you guys know about the indigestion I've been having. That's been a thing ever since the start. It hasn't gone away, and I don't think it will. However, I do have an appointment tomorrow here in Indiana with my OB who actually delivered Roman, and I'm going to talk about getting on some medicine for my indigestion because they did prescribe that last time, and I'm hoping that they will this time because it's been crazy. It hits at night. Sometimes it'll hit during the day, but mostly at night, and it sucks. Within the past two to three days, I've been noticed I've been having some like period-like cramps in my vaginal slash pelvic area. It's weird. I don't think I had this with Roman, but then again, I didn't document it, so I don't know. Last night for the first time, I did have Braxton Hicks contractions, which was really weird. Um, I had them with Roman to the point where I was on my knees, bending over the couch and just trying to breathe. This time, um, it was kind of the same thing. However, I feel it in like my mid back and it is definitely like contractions because it comes on with like a wave. If you've had contractions before, you know what I'm talking about. It was in my mid back, like right behind my lungs and it made it hard to breathe. And I just, it lasted like 30 minutes, inconsistent contractions. And I was just like, oh man, <laughs> this baby is taking me for a ride. I, I don't know, taking me for a ride. Aside from that, I started feeling the baby move at 21 weeks. I'm currently 23 weeks, about to be 24 on Sunday. It's just like, it's crazy. I didn't know when to expect to feel him move because with Roman, I felt him move at 18 weeks. However, the OB or the technician, she said that I do have an anterior placenta. So I don't know if I had the opposite with Roman. I'm really not sure, but she said that can be why I didn't feel him move until now. So I'm so glad that he's finally letting me know like he's there, he's okay. I feel him every night. He's so active at night and I can feel him on the outside kick me. So what I'm majorly excited for is when Antonio will be able to feel the baby kick for the first time. It's going to be something that he's never experienced before. And I think it's gonna be really special for him. Like I said, I do have an appointment tomorrow with my OB who delivered Roman, so I'm excited for that. Not quite sure what's gonna be done at that appointment, but of course I will update you on what does go down at my next update. I'm not quite sure when it'll be, just because things have been pretty smooth, no major changes or anything. I'm just excited for it to be December, dude. We got like three to four months left. I am technically like almost six months pregnant, and I am almost to the third trimester already. I remember giving my first update and I was like, God, December feels so far away. And now here we are in September. Roman's birthday is next week. He turns two, which blows my mind. My husband will be back two weeks today. I'm so excited about that. I might record a little something, something. It's just crazy. I'm gonna try to roll out more vlogs and more video ideas. It's been weird because we've been trying to get adjusted to living here now. We're at my mom's, so 
uh, just until Antonio can acclimate back into civilian life. But now I will give you guys like the moment you've all been waiting for is the belly shot. I will let you see my pregnant belly. Here he is. Look at this. This is crazy. He's gotten so big. I just realized I've never really shown you guys my stretch marks, so I'm gonna show you. Um, with Roman, I did get them all right here, if you look closely, a little bit up here, and I got them on my sides. They're faded, but I'm pretty sure they'll come back. I'm trying to do better with not getting them. Six months pregnant. Hey guys, so I just realized that I didn't tell you about any of my weight gain. I'm actually editing right over there in the corner. Um, I'm currently about 179 to 180 pounds, which means I've gained 20 pounds thus far. I'm about to be 24 weeks, so I've gained pretty much half the weight that they usually expect you to gain when you're pregnant. Um, they recommend between 20 to 40 pounds. That's what my OB told me anyway. And so I, I know I'm going to gain more, but I don't think I'm going to gain 60 pounds like I did with Roman. So that's reassuring. Uh, we'll see where it goes, but I just wanted to throw that in because as I'm editing, I realized I didn't tell you. So, continue. This video was pretty short, but thank you guys so much for watching and keeping up with me. I'm going to try to roll out these videos more. It's just, again, we're trying to get situated here and I do have a job now, so it's just been really nice. I have a lot to show you. I just, it's a matter of when. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.